What's up crypto gang? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new here, we do a giveaway at the beginning of every single episode. And today's winner is Johnny Diaz. Thanks so much for commenting on the previous video, Johnny. I just sent you some crypto. If you guys wanna win on the next video, like, comment with your wallet address, and don't forget to subscribe. On this edition of the Masternode series, we are going to dive even deeper into the hosting side of things. To give you guys a layout of the series, first step is going through what a Masternode is, which I did in a previous video. The second step is talking a little bit about hosting. And the platforms that are going to be included in this series are Jin Coin or Jin Platform, Snode, which is a hosting platform, and we are going to be hosting our nodes on those platforms. Both of these services provide cloud hosting as well as dedicated hosting. I'm going to go through setting up master nodes by Bitcoin Green, and I'm going to go through Divi. Bitcoin Green is a really great sustainable version of Bitcoin where you have proof of stake and you have master nodes supporting the network. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of master nodes and I am a very big fan of Bitcoin Green, so I was excited that the team and I could get together and we could showcase Case, a master node. Jumping off of that point, as a disclaimer, really quickly, I want to be crystal clear about this with all the news coming out with the SEC and everything. All of these projects that I'm going to be showing on the master node series have provided me with one master node. So crystal clear up front, front and center, so that you guys know that all of these master nodes have been provided by the project so that we can showcase it to the world and I have been provided with one masternode to do so. I'm gonna go through the setup for a Bitcoin Green masternode using their core wallet as well as Jin, the hosting platform, and then I'm going to show you guys Divi as I go through their desktop wallet and set that up and get it live. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set up our Bitcoin Green dedicated node using Jin, and it costs 2,500 BitG to create the node. And one thing I like to remind people of is you need on average one Satoshi, maybe two Satoshis as a transaction fee when you are sending the uh, amount needed, so the 2,500 BitG, when you're sending to the collateral address, you need to cover the fee uh, to make that transaction to yourself. So, as I've said in the past, you need to copy and paste this, make sure that you get it correct. And we're going to go into here. We're going to go into tools, type it in. I already typed it in, and this is the address. So you're gonna copy it, and we are going to send it to ourselves. So we're going to send 2500 bit G to ourselves, and I'm gonna do, let's call this the master node transaction transaction fee all right excellent so uh, 2500 it is to our collateral wallet address and let's just double check real quick all right we are good we have the collateral wallet address we have the uh, transaction fee taken care of. I like to label things, and this is the fee for the node. You can also do a swift transaction. Technology allows for near instant transactions. So the transaction fee looks like this. You can actually choose your different um, speeds. We're gonna go ahead and send ourselves this. And are you sure you want to send 2500 to our collateral wallet address? Yes. We're gonna go back to Jin, press continue. And this next piece is, uh, as I've said, it communicates with Bitcoin Green's, uh, the core wallet to the Jin platform, and you need the transaction ID for the collateral wallet address transaction that you just made. So we're gonna pop this open. We're gonna double click payment to yourself. And right here you have your confirmations, the date, the amount, the transaction fees, and the transaction ID right here. We're going to copy that, close it, open up Jin, and enter the transaction ID, and continue. And this is going to show the processing screen, where this is Jin setting everything up in the background, and it's in basically communicating with the blockchain of uh, Bitcoin Green. 
So everything's getting set up automatically in the background. Now that we've gotten to the final stages here, probably the second to last piece, what we need to do is we need to dive into the files of the actual Bitcoin Green Core wallet. And the reason for this is we need to complete the conversation between the Jin hosting platform and the node that has been created. So what you need to do here is first, what I always recommend is I always recommend that people open up their finder and they go to go up at the top and they enter in to go to folder. And this on Mac usually will open up a uh, library and application support. So this is kind of a quick jump into the uh, proper folder setup here. So we need to find Bitcoin green and it'll be right about here. Open it up and the masternode config file. So what the masternode config is basically the, the kind of core of the communication uh, when you're configuring the masternode. So when you open this up in a text editor, you're gonna paste this line right here in the background, as you can see from the uh, gin file that they provide you. And the key component here is making sure that it is saved. I've seen a lot of issues with this in the past. I like to space down and go to file, save. And it will update from there we can exit out and you can see here the time frame is today at 9.05 p.m. So it has updated and we can exit out of that, save and close the file, close the wallet and wait 30 seconds to open it. So I'll go ahead and quit the Bitcoin Core wallet and it will shut down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. So once the wallet reboots, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in to the debug console and enter in the start master node uh, command into the debug console. And if it gives back the success uh, message, then we are good to go. It will be communicating with Jin's hosting platform and the node will be integrated into the platform fully. Now that we have the wallet booted up after we have entered in all of the masternode config required files, we are going to pop open the debug console and we are going to copy. Once we've opened up the debug console in the core wallet, you're going to paste this exact uh, line of code here, this command from Jin, and we're gonna run it. And as you can see here, it was successful. So it is successfully communicating and it has started one master node on Jin. So it's successfully having the handshake and the communication with Jin. So everything has been completed successfully on the hosting side of things and the master node has been created successfully. So we are going to exit out of the debug console and we are going to go to done. The final step here is the uh, reward screen where you can see that you are active, it is dedicated, and you have your reward address here. So this reward address will take you, when you click this, directly to the Bitcoin Green Explorer. And this will show all the transactions that have taken place with that address. It'll give you some really high level information like a circulating supply, difficulty, the network giga hashes, and uh, pretty much everything you need to know on the Explorer. You need to copy this and you need to add this to your uh, masternode monitoring sheet here. And as I've said in the past, this is definitely the best feature from masternode online. You can see here that we have BitGMN. So uh, we have successfully created the masternode on Jin's platform using their step-by-step -step instructions, using the BitG core wallet. You go to search, enter in your reward address or your IP address, and it will show when it is active and you can add it to your monitoring. So it can add and you can monitor everything that's going on and it sends email notifications when you get rewards. So this is definitely something that you're gonna to wanna to do. It's the final step. I don't even consider the node fully done in my opinion because I'm not monitoring what's going on 100%. Um, and this is kind of the final step that I recommend for everyone is, is setting everything up on the hosting side, 
making sure that the core wallet is uh, you know organized and the last one is masternodes online uh, is adding in the monitoring piece click add to monitoring and there we go bitcoin green right there on the end and we are up and running and it is going to be active uh, or enabled here in probably about 15 minutes but we are completely set up. Given I'm talking a little bit about hosting as well as setting up the first node, Divi is really, really in the middle of those two. Divi is a desktop wallet that allows you to basically do one click and it sets up a master node right there on the desktop wallet. Their whole kind of concept is lowering the barrier to entry and allowing new people to come into the space. Once you've downloaded the Divi core wallet on your desktop, you're going to come to a overview screen. That is going to showcase the recent transactions as well as a master nodes tab. You have your send, your receive, similar to other core wallets, your history for transactions, your address book and settings. So we're gonna to go to the overview tab, click on master nodes. Once you have enough in here for the different plans, which you can see here, it shows the copper plan that costs 100,000 Divi. You have the silver plan, the gold, the platinum, and the diamond that costs 10 million Divi. So once you go through, you can see that the additional bonuses that apply on top. We're gonna start with the copper master node. So let's do uh, master node one. And we're gonna deploy it. And it says that it is allocating the funds, deploying the remote node, and it can take on average 15 minutes. As you can see, it's going through all of the different stages. After the 15 confirmations, it goes through funding the master node. It configures the local node, configuring the remote node, restarting all the nodes, starting master node and successfully deployed. So I really like the design here, mainly because I like green checks, makes me feel good. And also the fact that it only took 15 minutes to get this done is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and close this out. So you can see here that we have allocated 100,000 to the copper master node. We're gonna go over to the master nodes tab. As you can see here on November 27th, we started master node one, which was with 100,000 Divi, and we are ready to go. Under 20 minutes, you are able to spin up a node once you have the total balance of 100,000 or more Divi. Once it's spendable, you can then go into the master nodes tab and then create your new master node depending on the plan that you want. I hope you guys liked that setup. It is a very, very simple when you use hosting platforms like Jin and Snowed. And the next couple of episodes here are going to be diving through different projects. First half of the series, I'm going to be including these nodes here, as you can see on the right. And what I'm really excited about is I'm going to be doing a second half of the series where I'm going to be interviewing a couple of the founders and devs of these projects so you guys get a chance to actually see and hear from them directly. And it's very exciting to be talking to the developers because they've helped a lot with the topics that I want to cover and different things about updates. This second half of the series is really exciting because this is going to unlock progress. This is going to show you guys what is coming down the pipeline for these different projects that I'm very interested in. For example, with Bitcoin Green, they're launching an exchange so people can actually stake their coins while they are on an exchange. And also with things like Divi, you have really exciting updates coming to the wallet. What I want everyone to understand is these 10 masternodes featured in this series, I consider the next up and coming 10 masternodes. And I consider them to be the top performing and also the developers behind them to be the top developers. So that's it for this episode. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did slap a like, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will be including all the links to all of the masternodes as well as their discord groups in the description below. So you guys can go check them out for yourself. I will see you guys on the next episode of Hack Crypto.